Uh, I'm not surprised. Uh, Mary Kay Cabot, who writes for the Cleveland, I think, Plain Dealer Skip, mm -hmm. and when it comes to the Cleveland Browns, she is the Bible. She does. Uh, yeah. And yeah. she said mm -hmm. it was going to be either Hugh yeah. Jackson or Todd Haley. Mm -hmm. One of yeah. those guys were going to have to go, where they made it abundantly clear who they wanted to leave. But I'm surprised. Here's the thing. At 1-15, and 15, you don't fire Hugh. 0-16, oh, you don't fire Hugh. 2 5 and 1, Hugh, you got to go. What did you expect him to be? 6 and 2 or 7 and 1? Skip, they need to get up out of here. You know good well Cleveland's not very good. They're, they're... Hard knocks gave us a false sense of what the Cleveland Browns could be. Mm. Uh, I think I had them at what? Six? I think I had them at six games. I think you said they could possibly win nine mm -hmm. if they started Baker Mayfield. Well, if Josh Gordon is still there, that would happen. Man, stop, Skip. Well, what do you mean stop? Is he not Tom Brady's new favorite receiver? Well, if he. You don't think he'd be helping Baker Mayfield? If right he now? had showed up on time okay, and not looked like he was possessed. Okay. All right. Well, that's fair. I'm good with this, and I have supported and defended Hugh over the years, but he lost me during hard knocks, as I've said many times on this show, and I think he got in a power struggle with two former head coaches who are big personalities at both his coordinators, and they're firing at each other during hard knocks, vying for attention and control of the football team right. and of the hard knocks, you know, who can take over hard knocks. For a while, it was Greg Williams, then it was Todd Haley. Hugh's fighting back. And Hugh just felt like he was flailing to me now for the, mm. the last, I don't know, four or five games. And he's trying to, to fight with Todd Haley publicly last week and tr try to get some new impact and input on the game plan. And it's just wrong. And finally, John Dorsey said, no, that's enough. And guess what? You wasn't John Dorsey's guy. Yeah, no? We're not surprised. No? I, I was kind of surprised mm -hmm. that he was able to keep the job I'm, after I I, John Dorsey was hired because normally, Skip, like you say, GM, Brink, I want my guy. I want yep. someone I hired. I know this guy. But they gave Hugh a chance. But, uh, you know, I'm not surprised. And, uh, you know, Hugh had his opportunity. He didn't yep. get the job done. So he has another year left on his contract. He's still going to make some money. But I, I still believe Hugh is an excellent play caller mm -hmm. and deserves and will get he, another He is, job. and I hope he gets a coordinator job because that's what I think he's best at, and he deserves a shot. Right. But these guys, this was a troubled football team, and this will clarify the situation, and maybe Baker will start to rally here. Uh, right. Stop rallying nothing. They, mm -hmm. they gave us a false sense watching them mm -hmm. on hard knock. Oh, oh this team can win no. seven, yeah. eight games. Mm -hmm. I didn't say they was going to win no mm -hmm. seven, eight games. Yeah. I told you, best case scenario, six. And I was being very told generous. Me Rashard Higgins was going to get hurt and Derek Willie. I don't think you said that.